and away is one of those things that you must have in your Linux distribution because using it you can apply live wallpapers to your desktop like these ones. Back in the days live wallpapers used to be very popular in phones especially in android smartphones but like everything else the trend faded away but with Hanavi you can get it back at least onto your Linux desktop. So in this video we will see how to get Hanavi and its required dependencies. Second we will set it up and fix some of the known issues with Hanavi. And at last I will share you some of the popular sources online from where you can get awesome live wallpapers. So let's get started. Now there is one clause with Hanavi. If I haven't mentioned before then Hanavi is a GNOME extension. Which means it can only work on the distributions that have GNOME as a desktop environment. And GNOME is one of the most popular desktop environment out there and many popular distributions like Ubuntu, Fedora, PopOS, Manjaro, they all come with a GNOME build. And even if your distribution doesn't have a GNOME build, you can easily install GNOME. While keeping this clause in mind, let's set things up. First we are going to install the dependencies and uh, they are very easy to do. I might already have in my system because I tried Hanavi before. So just open the terminal and uh, execute this command. So what this command will do basically install git mation and this media gstreamer uh, library. I already have these libraries but uh, for the sake of demonstration I'm going to so just hit this command it will download these dependencies and install on to your system. After getting these dependencies we will get the Hanavi from the git. So we are going to use a get to basically download the project onto our system and then Mason to build it. And I think this will be used for the video purposes, I guess. So let's get the project. For that, you have to execute this command. We are using git and we are cloning it. So just hit the command and it will create a folder by this name and it will download the all the files. So now we just have to cd to that folder and uh, we will find all the project related files and uh, we have this script over here and we just have to execute this script now to execute this script we just have to type dot slash and the file name and uh, we have to pass the install as a parameter hit the enter and it will be very quick everything is done now so this shows all the available extensions onto the system and hanavi should be listed here and uh, I'm not able to find the Hanavi if that is the case with you as well then you just have to log out from your system and log back in. So I'm going to just do that. I have just logged out and logged in back to my system and now let me check again. And you can see the Hanavi extension is listed over here. Now I just have to enable it and uh, it will get activated. By default it doesn't have any file or live wallpaper so we have to provide that file. So it accepts video files. I have one uh, downloaded already on my system. So the wallpaper is looking really good right. It is looking sick. You also have these options available so you can simply pause the video if you want. You can also mute the audio if the video has any audio you can unmute it and play it back. Apart from that you can directly open the preferences from here after activating the Hanavi extension and uh, you can change uh, the different settings and different uh, live wallpapers as well. Now before going to the uh, live wallpaper resources I have to tell you one more thing which is if in your system you are seeing this red mark in your Hanavi extension then it basically means that the extension is not supported in your GNOME uh, version basically. To fix that what you can do you just have to go to your settings find out the version of uh, GNOME that is installed in your system. So just navigate to the systems and uh, find out the GNOME version. In my case I am using the uh, GNOME version 46. This is the latest LTS of Ubuntu. This extension supports this particular version. If in your system it is not uh, supporting then what you can do you just note down the GNOME version. Mine was 46 yours can be like 44.6 foot and uh, you just have to note it and go to in your file explorer and hit ctrl h. This will basically enable hidden files. You just have to look for a folder called local.local. .local. 
and inside this folder just navigate to the share and inside the share folder just navigate to the gnome shell folder inside it uh, extensions and inside you will find this hanavi extension folder here you just have to modify a file so this is the metadata.json file and here you can see currently this extension only support 45 and 46 version of the gnome shell and if your uh, for example your version is 44.2 then you can simply type here in the double quotes and uh, just save this file and log out from your system log back in and open the extension manager and uh, the red mark will be gone this is a quick hack to basically allow the extension to work in your particular gnome version now let's see some of the best resources available on the internet from where you can get the live world papers my favorite one is motionbackgrounds.com and this website has a wide range of live world papers and it also offers different resolutions like 4k and 1080p Apart from that, the best part about this particular uh, website is that it provides you the optimized wallpapers. So the, the live wallpaper file is a video file, right? And that video file can be optimized so that it consume very less resources of your system. Now how do I know that because I basically downloaded some of the wallpapers and tried it on my system and they basically uh, do not lag and uh, if i try to download wallpapers from different websites other than motion backgrounds then some of them uh, basically relax apart from that there are different options also available and they provide you different test of live wallpapers like desktop hut moi wallpapers mylivewallpapers.com and uh, this one livewallpapers.pc.com so all these websites have a ton of live wallpapers but they all lack to provide multi-resolution options and the file size is often bigger when it compared to the motion backgrounds live wallpapers. Having said that, there are options available out there and if you find any better options than these ones then do let me know about them in the comment section below. A big thank you for watching this video till the end if you did and uh, Hit the subscribe and like the video and uh, I'll catch you in the next one. Till then, take care.